In this video, you have officially been indoctrinated into the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tournament arc. Definitely like and subscribe because this is going to be one of the greatest battle championships of all time. Me and a close friend of mine, Briggs, from the channel Briggs and the Twitch stream Briggs88, will be opening 24 virtual packs of Yu-Gi-Oh! cards once a week from new packs in consecutive order, starting with Legend of Blue Eyes, and every week a new pack gets included into our pool of where we're allowed to get 24 packs from. All these cards in the 24 packs worth of cards get added into our virtual collections where we load up the cards in DuelingBook.com and we duel. Basically, whoever wins this tournament is the official king of games. I actually got this idea from Simo. I'm gonna link him in the description as well. He did this Yu-Gi-Oh! progression series kind of thing, and well, I figured it would be a fun idea to do. So I'm gonna be streaming this once a week on my main channel and uploading this once a week on this channel. Subscribe to Nuxanor right now for future shiz. The hype is real. We're gonna be gaming hard, boys. And yeah, both of us take gaming very seriously, so like, this is gonna be actual anime-style duels. When one of us activates a trap card, the goddamn country is gonna shudder from our flipping it on our virtual tables. It's gonna be epic, hell yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the video! There's people that wanna watch me pull some rare cards. Will I disappoint them? That is the question. Probably. Don't Hopefully. say that! I mean, Wait. I wanna win, dude. I mean, yeah, but <laughs> don't you want to challenge at least? Maybe I'll get something to count to your arsenal of heavy storms that you pulled last time. <laughs> I think it'll be a challenge either way. You'll, you'll make the best with what, with what you get. I'll make the best of what I get, but I have to go against actual gods, okay? I guess while we're both in here, I'll cover the best cards in this pack. This pack is actually called Magic Ruler when it was released, but it was changed to Spell Ruler because the creators of Magic the Gathering sued Yu-Gi-Oh for calling Magic Cards! Bruh. Oh, that's so dumb. They used to be called Magic Cards, and then they got sued by Magic, so they had to change them to Spell Cards, and Magic Ruler got changed to Spell Ruler. How cringe is that? Dude, that always confused me as a kid. I thought there were <laughs> Spell Cards, Magic Cards, and Trap Cards. Bruh, it's oh messed up. Oh my god. This pack has a lot of notable cards, but there are three cards. Well, there's four cards in this pack that are actually fantastic. The first of those four is Snatch Steel. It's an ultra rare. You can equip it to one monster, your opponent controls, and you just take control of it. Your opponent gains a thousand life points every turn that it's still on the field. This is one of the strongest cards in the game, and it's been banned for a long time, but we're playing the bad list right now. Woo! Hello. The next really broken card is Delinquent Duo. I think that this is one of the strongest cards in the game by a long shot. I think that, honestly, this is top five strongest cards ever printed. Pay a thousand life points, your opponent discards one random card, and then if they have other cards, they have to discard another card. So it's a one for two, just straight off the bat. It's so broken. Yeah, that's solid. There's also like Mystical Space Typhoon and Giant Trunade, which are really good. Confiscation is pay a thousand life points, look at your opponent's hand, select one card in it and discard it. And then there's the Forceful Sentry, which is just look at your opponent's hand, select one card among them and return it to the deck and the deck is shuffled. Those two cards are both extremely broken. Those are the five very powerful cards that you get in Magic Ruler. Now, let me tell you a little something. <laughs> Briggs doesn't know something, some strategy that I have. My plan to start off the 24 packs we're opening today is I want to open some Metal Raiders again to actually get a shot at more seven colored fish, more Jirai Gumo, and those rare boys. Wish me luck, gamers. Pack number one of Metal Raiders. Come on, come on. Seven colored fish, Jirai Gumo, let the rare be like a Robin Goblin or a white magical hat or something. Pack number one. Pot of Greed? Is Pot of Greed in this deck? Also, what the fuck is this? No! <laughs> so, a third shield and sword, I guess. Upstart Goblin. Yeah, I'll read that later. Ah! A seven colored fish! Let's go! Fish Pog! Oh! What is this? Card score 44 and card score 15. Load, baby. Toon World and Manga. A fifth. Se a sixth Rekabrang Dude, this is my fifth Saga of the Thunder. It's a super rare. How have I gotten. Ah! Ryu Ryan and Labyrinth Wall. All right, we're, we're getting some pulls here, boys. You've got to be kidding me. So far, the only rares I got were two super rare Saga of the Thunders. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Pain! I wouldn't mind like a good pot of greed again! So am I allowed to run three pot of greeds? I guess so. This is pack number one of Magic Ruler. 
Giant Trunade! We take those. We take those. Shining Eight. This is a decent pack. It's not amazing, but it's good. I'll take it. Oh, we got a rare here that's not loading. Come on. Oh, Sonic Bird was a good card, I think. We move on. Pack number three of Magic Ruler. All right, a giant germ. Malevolent Nuzzler. Hey, man. Actually a decent pack. We take those. Rush recklessly. Not so bad. Malevolent Nuzzler. Confiscation. That's huge. That's a huge card. Poggers. Confiscation and Eternal Rest is decent. Malevolent. Malevolent Nuzzler was a decent card. I got another upstart go goblin. Banisher of the Light. Honestly, might be useful later. Uh, it's good to have in the bank. I'm happy to have uh, a Banisher of Light. That's dope. Heart of the Cards, baby. Giant True Nade is a good card, right? Can we please get a Giant Germ? Yo, I didn't get any Mystic Tomatoes either. Yo, Mystic Tomato. Return all spell and trap cards on the field to the hand. A Rush recklessly. Oh, Neo the Magic Swordsman, also a good card. All right, all right. Serpent Night Dragon, 2350. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, is that two? Uh, that's two sacrifices still, right? Not worth it. Third giant germ, where are you at? Germ or tomato? And get me a delinquent duo! Oh, it's trash. Come on, last pack. Last pack, baby. Another upstart goblin. Oh my god. The Delinquent duo. I didn't get a lot of rares this time, gamers. Absolute garbage. Another spear cretin and a dark zebra. I'm not gonna use spear cretin. It's trash. All right. So now we gotta just put a deck together out of this hodgepodge. Before I even start, I would like to organize these cards a little bit. Like, I'm assuming we could add this to my extras for now. I'm probably not gonna end up running this. When this card is destroyed by battle, sent to the graveyard, inflict 500 damage to your opponent, and special summon any number of giant germs from your deck in attack mode. I feel like that's pretty bad if you only have two germs. I need a third really badly. I don't know what I'm going for just yet. But I do know I'm going to add two more Pot of Greed instantly. All right, so here's the plan. I'm going to keep Taylor of the Fickles and Eternal Rest. I kind of want to add a Labyrinth Wall. I should have, like, one Labyrinth Wall in my deck, don't you think? I need more trap cards. Dude, I didn't pull any trap cards! Upstart Goblins, I got. Draw one card, then your opponent gains 1,000 life points. Two Upstart Goblins. Do I have any light cards? No, they're all dark. My whole deck is dark. I could add a giant true nade. Return all spell and trap cards to, the, to get rid of it. It's not that good though. I, I got a lot. Unless your opponent sends one deck from the top of the can attack. That's garbage. This is trash. Why are you telling me to use this thing? This is actual trash. The equipped monster gains 700 attack. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you pay 500 life points. Play this, place this card on the top of your deck. I think I want this. Oh, I can actually be annoying. Hold on. I got a Banisher of the Radiance. I did get a oh, Banisher of the Light. Any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. That is actually not a bad idea. I could include this just in case Briggs has like uh, Sangans and stuff. We're still we're still working here. I want to add these uh, these Guardian of the Throne rooms in because I have some monsters here that are weaker. Like I could get rid of my Yura B. Should I mill him out of cards? I could use three Gravekeeper Servants and just like a ton of Defense Boys. Oh, that would be evil. Flip. When this card is sent to the graveyard after being flipped, each player selects one monster from their graveyard and special summons it in face up attack position or face down defense position. Oh my god, that is the meanest thing I could do. All right, well, I'm going to take out the germs, Mamonga, Shining Angel. We'll clear the side deck out a little bit. Then you can special summon any number of giant germs from your deck in face. Oh wow, that's huge. I'm adding giant germ. Should I mill him? Oh my god, why is everyone in my chat telling me to make a mill deck? What? That's a, oh my god, these monsters are all gar- I'm gonna add another Dark Magician. I gotta keep the Dark Magician in my deck. Flip, when this card is sent to the graveyard after being flipped, each player selects a monster from the graveyard, special summon it, and face up attack or face down defense. I could just summon another Cretan. It makes an infinite loop of Cretans. This might be my most toxic game of, of, I've ever played. Flip, destroy all monsters on the field, then both players reveal the top five cards of their decks, and special summon all revealed four level four or lower monsters in face-up attack position or face-down defense position. Also, any add any remaining cards to their hand. If either player has less than five cards in their deck, reveal as many as possible. Oh my god. Cyber Jar. Sure. If he goes the equip route, I can always side this in. Unless I do every single game, I use a different deck. <laughs> I would surprise the hell out of him. Okay, I'm gonna keep this deck the way it is. We'll see how this, the first duel goes and we'll, we'll adjust from there. 
I have no idea how this is going to go. I, I yeah, have, I don't know either. My deck's interesting. Th my deck is so wacky, man. Like, honestly, this is going to be the most stressful game so far. The Megalovania soundtrack just started. You know what that means? What? It's time, time to, to duel. duel. <laughs> it is a good day, ladies and gentlemen. I've defeated Briggs and Rock, Paper, Scissors for the first time. Honestly, I don't love my hand, so that's good for you. I like one of the cards in my hand, but the other four, I would have preferred if they would have shown up later. For now, I'm just going to set this card face down and end my turn. Briggs, I'm going to show you the best card that I pulled. And probably the best card that I pulled in the entire journey so far. Confiscation! No. Yeah, I didn't get the link with Duo, so you're lucky. But I will pay no. 1,000 life points to look at your hand and select one card and discard it. Show me your hand. No. I already know what you're going to get rid of. Yeah, this probably. Let's go. Let's see it. Let's see it. <laughs> oh, my God. You got Cyber Jar. No. No. Are you going to toss the jar uh, or are you going to toss the storm? I'm definitely going to toss the storm. Toss storm. But, oh, God, you got Cyber Jar. To the graveyard. Nefty boy. Okay. Now, uh, I don't know what your face down is, but I have a strat. And the strat involves summoning Sangan in attack mode and attacking your face down monster. You lose 1,000 life points. Are you kidding me? Is a giant soldier of stone? Are you gonna yeah. flip it or? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm actually at a pretty big disadvantage right now. <laughs> not even gonna lie. Let's go. All right, in main phase two, I will set one card that I'm not worried that it will be killed by heavy storm and I will end my turn. Start my turn. Pot of greed. You got more pot of greeds, didn't you? I did get more pot of greeds. <laughs> Plural, you have three pot of greeds? What? No. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, he has a whole new hand! I will normal summon this bad boy. Oh, damn. I think I'm going to save this card for now. And I will just attack your monster. All right. And that's it. You can search my deck for one monster card with 1,500 or less attack. I'm going to take... Um, Big surprise. Witch of the Black Forest. And I will end my turn. My chat told me to include this. I really didn't want to. I love this card, but I don't I don't like it at this point in the game. I can use Upstart Goblin. So I draw a card and you gain a thousand life points. I had three of those in my deck at one point and then I took them all out. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> it's a good card. But so again, I I am fraught with options. I'm gonna summon Witch of the Black Forest in attack mode and equip it with Malevolent Nuzzler, giving it 1800 attack. And with Witch of the Black Forest, I will attack your Guardian of the Throne no! Room. No! How can you do that to the Guardian of the Throne Room? Take your 150 so damage, you peasant! All right, your oh, turn. Oh, no. I am still at... I'm only at 8,850 life points. Whatever will I do? God damn it. This is not looking so good. I will normal summon my Skull Run Bird. I will activate my Stim Pack on him. And I will attack him. Do you use my Trap card? Or not? That's the question right now. But also... If my guy dies, then I just get to search something good. I say you just let him die. Okay, you're right. I let him die. I let Fish Boy to hang. You... Oh, he's fish. This is so scary. Well, you knew I, I had end. a fish. It's true. I will end my turn. Oh my god, I drew Pot of Greed. Let's go. Gamers, it's working! My strat actually is gonna work! What? Oh. No, no way! Wow! Is so sad. Okay, hold up, hold up. I, I want to do this so badly right now. You're right. Oh my god, this is so cruel! I'm gonna summon Mask Sorcerer in attack mode. <laughs> and I will activate- I don't know what this card does. And I will. I'm gonna activate Taylor of the Fickle. So I'm gonna switch your stim pack, which is equipped to your skull red bird, to my masked sorcerer. 50 more oh. than your bird. God damn it. I will then attack skull red bird. Let's Man, this go. Is, this masked sorcerer is literally you. That's you. I know, right? No <laughs> attack, but it does its job. Die bird, kill right. the bird and take your 50 damage. And when Do masked you keep sorcerer- the stim pack? Yes, of course I keep the stim pack. It's equipped to me now. Oh no, I'm still at 8,800 8, life points. But oh, when no. Mass Sorcerer inflicts damage to my opponent, it allows me to draw one card from my deck. And with that, this I guy's got my... all the cards. And then my turn. Giant True Nade. Whoa! So I get my stim card back, correct? Yes. Alright. So that goes to the graveyard. You know what? And Frick, then... I'm gonna use it. 
I'm gonna use it. Okay. I'm, not gonna, I'm not just gonna let it go. Okay, I am gonna let it go. I'm sorry, I'm indecisive. Go. You're, you're, you're so indecisive. I'm indecisive. You go. You kill my guy, my mad sorcerer. He was so cool back oh, in the it's day. Not over. It's not over yet. I'm gonna summon a Sangin. Okay. Equip. Oh. This bad boy. And I will attack your masked boy. Bam! No, masked boy! And I take 800 damage. 800 damage. Slowly but surely. It's your turn. Alright. I'm gonna summon seven colored fish. Alright, so wait, hold on. Your hand right now is Stimpak and Cyber Jar. <laughs> the, the brain! The brain. My wait. Cyber Jar is kinda shitty right now. No, yeah, your Cyber Jar is useless right now. Wait, if, you're, if your hand is just Stimpak Cyber Jar, I could do something without fear of repercussion. I'm gonna oh, equip I mean, Malevolent what... Nuzzler to fish. Ooh. Okay. And I'm gonna attack. Alright, I'll attack Sangin. Actually, I attack Soldier. Uh, I changed my okay. mind. I attack Soldier okay. Stone. He's dead. Fine. And How me. much uh, attack does your guy currently have? 2,500. Okay. I know what I'm gonna do here. Cool. I'm just trying to do the math here. So you're at 2,500, correct? Yep. I am going to set this card down. Alright, you do that. Oh, it's Cyber Gyre. Nice. I will. It has. I will move this guy to defense position. My turn. So, I mean, that's probably Cyber Jar. <laughs> Imagine this, it's Skull Red Bird. <laughs> it's definitely not Skull Red Bird. It's probably Cyber Jar. So, this is the most useless card in my hand right now. So, I kind of want to do it like, wait. Attacking Cyber Jar with fish. I mean, it could be anything. For the graveyard. It's, your, your card's not moving, Briggs. I know. Maybe. All right. So, now my fish dies. Your Sangan dies. You'll, yeah, level four, mo so or four lower in face of attack or face down defense. Your Sangan and Equip is dead. And we reveal the top five cards of our deck. So just banish top. Oh, God, you got three level fours. All right, well, good thing it's still my turn. And I'm still in the battle phase, actually. So this card is sent from the field to the graveyard. Add one monster, 1,500 or less attack. Okay. Yeah, so you do that. I and... always forget if it... Maybe. Oh, okay, so we're still in the battle phase, so I will attack your Guardian of the Throne Room with my Zebra. 150. And I'm making progress Whoa. here. Damn, look at that. You're almost at where I started. So, during main phase two, there is good news. There's also bad news. The bad news is you have you have another heavy storm in there somewhere. But the good news is main phase two, I could, um, I guess I'll summon another Dark Zebra. Your go, Brigo! Yeah. God damn. He, he, the game is having a second wind right now, except you just have double my life points. Aside from that, second wind. Uh, let's put a card down. Cool. In main fade is what? I'm going to sacrifice uh -oh. this boy to summon. No, I knew you this had boy. ghoul guy. I should have. Shadow been... ghoul. 2300 boy. That's a big boy. That is a big boy. I am going to activate rush recklessly on my fish. I'll attack one of these guys and one of these guys. So... I am going to also activate a rush recklessly on the guy that's attacked by Shadow Ghoul. Okay. So your Shadow Ghoul dies and you take 200 damage. This is so sad. And uh, the fish that's attacking my other guy kills him and I take 700 damage. Oh, look at that. 8450. I will end my turn. Dope, my turn. Let's go. We love to see it. All right, this is how the game is going to proceed. I'm an idiot. I fucked up. No! Okay, never mind. It's too late. Okay. I am going to... I'm going to set a card, and I am going to equip Malevolent Nuzzler to Dark Zebra, giving him 2,500 I'm, I'm going to activate my thing and use it on my fish. I am going to activate my thing and use it back on my zebra! Let's oh, go! Let's go! I knew you were going to do that! Let's god freaking go! It. All right, well done. Oh, God, that feels so good. Okay, Zebra, with your 2,500 attack, attack fish. Oh my god, that was unbelievable. During main phase oh. two, yeah, it hurts to be below 8,000 life points, huh? Main phase two, I will set a card, and it is your go. Let's go! I am going to set this card. I will set this card, and I will end my turn. Dope, I go. Let's go! I like that draw. All right, so uh, I'm just going to put it back in your hand. Then... For my turn, I will normal summon Witch of the Black Forest. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, it will. Oh, it will. I'll attack you directly with uh, my three boys. So you take, you take 15, 50, and 2,500. No! Let's go! We're back oh, in the game, gamers! Let's go! You're up! Let's go! I cannot this believe my hard. game strategy actually worked. I went for the slow game in the beginning. I 
I, the plan was giving you the advantage in the beginning so I could build up a field like this now. That's actually yeah. the strat. Set and enter. So unfortunately, that's probably, um, what's it called? Like a man-eater bug. Which yeah, sucks. you got it right. So what am I going to do about that? I don't even know. How much defense does man-eater bug have? Either tell me or I'll look it up. Sure, I don't really, let me view my deck. It's not, don't view your deck, I put just down. put, oh, <gasps> I'm so sorry. I did not mean to. 600 oh. defense. I'm sorry. Oof. All right. I, I didn't mean to like try and mind game you like that. I'm gonna attack your monster with Witch of the Black Forest. <laughs> All right, I'm I gonna imagine. send your zebra back. And Malevolent Nuzzler dies. Um, actually, hold on. I'm gonna pay 500 life points to put Malevolent Nuzzler back on the top of my deck. You gonna attack with Hain Hain? No, main phase two, I'm gonna put Hain Hain in defense and I will set a card. You're up. Oh wait, no, ah, I'm stupid. Uh. Hate to do it to you, but you did end your turn. Yep, you're right, you're right. I am going to my germ boy. Hey, it's germ boy. Activate a stim pack and wait, 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 wait. hold on. Wait, 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 stop. Go ahead. Going too fast for a second. Hold on. I might want to use one of my face down cards. Yeah, I'm gonna trap hole your germ. So you can take stim pack back in your hand. Trap holding a germ? What? Yeah, I was about to say. That's interesting. Yeah, it is. So when you trap hole a germ, I get nope, another germ. Only when he's destroyed by battle. Oh. Mm hmm. Um, when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, it takes 500 mm -hmm. points of- Oh, god damn it. Mm -hmm. Distract! Dude, you don't even know why right. I did that. But you well, will soon. you fucking- you win. That's why I- Trap hole wins. Gamers, I normal summon Dark Zebra. I equip Malevolent Nuzzler to Dark Zebra, and I equip- No, I'm gonna activate oh, this thing, and we're gonna put it on your- I guess, wait, can you still flip cards because you're in fucking other phase? Yeah, but you also can't uh, equip something to a face down card. I could have put it on the Hain Hain, but I just realized you could just, it's the same amount of attack at the end of the day, you win. Okay, Hain Hain. I'm gonna switch Hain Hain to attack mode. Oh, shoot, this. And you win. Not yet, bro. I activate Black Pendant. Now I win. Black Pendant increases Zebra's attack by 500. And I'll use Rush Likelessly because why the hell not? Let's go! Let's oh, freaking go! Oh, God damn it. Oh, GG's, oh. bro. That's GGs. one. One zero. Rematch. That's Let's one. do this. I will accept the rematch. Do I draw or not draw my first No, turn? you do not draw. Okay. This is a bad hand. You're going to win this game. It turns out I do because I fought a greed. Oh, God. I hate this so much. You're going to win this game. I will set and end my turn. All right. Well, I just drew pot of greed. So that makes things better. Okay, those were two good draws. Next, I am going to activate Confiscation! I only got one of them. <laughs> Let's go. Briggs hand. That's a decent hand you got there, Briggs. I'm gonna get rid of Witch of the Black Forest. Damn, and I was even just trying to decide which card I should start my hand, my turn with. I was considering that one. Rip. All right, bro, he started his game both times with this fucking card. Yeah, man, I'm not complaining. Then I am going to I do want to attack your face down, but if I attack Soldier of Stone again, I'll just be sad. So, I will take the sadness option by setting a card face down! And setting a card face down. You're up, gamer. I am going to flip this card. Into attack mode. Put your mode. monster back in your hand. Into attack mode. Alright, you're up. And then, I will sacrifice him. Whoa! To normal, uh, whatever. To summon Curse of Dragon in attack mode. That's a boy. That's and I will attack you directly. Shoot. Okay, I'm gonna take the damage. Ending my turn I, like I, that. I might lose right off the bat. Oh, I got the card that everyone told me to take out at the right. It's garbage. All right. I, you know what? I'm gonna do a strategy that I don't think anyone on the planet has ever done before. Are you ready? Go I'm going it. to equip Malevolent Nuzzler to your dragon. Okay. And I'm gonna activate my face down card. Eternal Rest. Destroying all monsters equipped with equip cards. God damn. The strat! Okay. So your wow. dragon is dead. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's yours. Then I will proceed by normal summoning Masked Sorcerer and attacking you directly with him for 900 damage. And when he inflicts battle damage, I draw a card. And then during main phase two, all I need to do is set one card phase down, and it's your go. Let's yeah, go! This guy's, brain, this guy's brain is fucking Let's hard, go! Man. I can't believe I got rid of Curse of Dragon. Hell yeah. Alright, I'm gonna activate I'm gonna activate Fisher. I hate you. Bye bye, Sorcerer Yo, Fisher Boy. Fucking OP. Fisher's so strong, gonna, it's crazy. We're gonna normal summon a spell red bird. Okay. We're gonna give him a little stim pack. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna attack you directly. 2250. This is actually really bad. Alright. 
Is that it? Ending my turn. Yes. Amazing. Easy turn, easy turn. I activate my face down card. Another eternal rest! Get your burn out of here! <laughs> I will then activate Upstart Goblin. So you gain a thousand life points and I draw a card. I will then normal summon Sangen. Wait, you have one card in your hand and it's Shadow Ghoul, I believe. So I'm not really so worried. What, what are you gonna... If you draw a monster stronger than Sangen, I'll just be sad. All right, I'm gonna take it directly with Sangen. And it is your move. Let's go! We're still in it, boys! It All was right, a rough boys. start. Guard the card, guard the cards. Fuck. Yes! Yes! Sangen beat down. And my turn. Let's go! That Shadow Ghoul not looking so good in your hand right now, brother. I am going to this, normal summon a second Sangen. This is so sad. And I will attack it directly with both Sangens. Oh, they hurt! You're up! Sangens, let's go! Sangen 2 OP, must nerf. Oh, ho, ho, ho. dude, I'm so I got rid of your whole hand. Um, I could summon this guy, but I would rather summon seven colored fish. I attack you with all my boys. Your move, Briggs. Is it gonna be 2 0? Is it gonna be 2 0? I think so. Let's go. No, I lose, dude. No, let's do it. Let's go, gamers. I came no. back hard, GG. bro. GG. <sighs> Okay, that's that's something. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, Ouch. Well, if you okay, all right. I appreciate you going out like a man. Uh, I will actively giant true nade. <laughs> I also got one. Oh damn! Wait, hold on. I want to actually do this. I tribute my two Sangens to summon Barrel Dragon for the first time in Yu-Gi-Oh history, and the two Sangens get me two searches. So I'm gonna add Witch of the Black Forest and this card, which you never saw, Banisher of the Radiance. So, Barrel Dragon's effect is once per turn, I can target one monster my opponent controls, toss a coin three times, and destroy it if two are heads. I target Magician of Faith. That's flip one. That's uh, flip two. Hey! Magician of Faith is destroyed by Barrel Dragon's uh, effect. Also, your face down card uh, should be in your hand right now. Uh, <laughs> because of my giant true name. <laughs> Alright, good game, bro. I just GG's, bro. GG's. Let's go. Yo, Dude, I cannot believe my strategy that worked. Game, that second game was a slaughter. Yeah, that was rough. Dude, you don't you don't realize my starting hand was five spell cards. It was two eternal rests, confiscation, giant trunade, and then like and black pendant. I didn't even Dude, get Dude, I I told you, chat, I was worth having mask in my deck. Chat was telling me yeah. to take your mask out. Nah, nah, nah. Mask is my ace monster. So I have three packs. Which packs do you suggest, Briggs? Um, I would probably, if you have everything you want from like this newest deck, I would go back. Is there anything you really want from this newest one? As far as commons, no. But I, I want rares from this pack. I want rares from Metal Raiders. And I want rares from Legend of Blue Eyes. I don't need commons from really any of the packs. All right, well, in that case, let's go for what rares you think you want most. I think so the first deck is worth it, but just, we just don't get the pull for it. I know. I could just do one of each pack. We start I know I had one Toon World, guys. We st you got a Toon World? That's hilarious. All right, uh -huh. pack number one. It, it, I got a third giant germ! All right, I'm putting that right in my deck immediately. Like, I'm, I'm going, before I even open two more packs, I'm going straight here. In that case, I suppose I'll open a Metal Raiders. All right, let's go. White Magical Hat. And Metal Raiders has absolutely trash. Dude, this pack hates me. Like, unironically, Metal Raiders hates me. And a Legend of Blue Eyes. Let's go. Maybe I'll get a Fisher. That would be dope. And I got nothing. All right. Not the coolest Rip. openings. All right, now I'm going back to Magic Ruler. See what would happen if I would have actually picked two more Magic Rulers. Well, at least I have three giant gems now. Yo, thank you for the games. This was a lot of fun. Was fun, was fun as always. Honestly, I love this series. It's so much fun. Me too. I'm so hyped. Next week, coming back, another episode. Yo, what? what Hell pack? yeah. What, what's next pack? Next pack is Pharaoh's Servant. Jinzo! Jinzo's in the next pack. It's a secret rare. If one of us pulls it, it'll change the whole dust tornado. Oh, Call of the Haunted. If one of us gets Call of the Haunted, that would be messed up too. Noblemen of Cross, that's a really good card. Impact. Premature Burial. God, there's a lot of really good cards in the next pack, but they're all super rare. <laughs> Bruh, I'm hyped. This is gonna be dope. Yo, I love this series. I'm so happy we're doing it's so, it. It's so great. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, bitches. Leave a like and subscribe for more hilarious garbage content to make you take your mind off the miserable existence we live in. Stay weird, fam.